Rollers that splatter paint everywhere. Brushes that leave marks, uneven finishes, and you're just fed up. Garages full of expensive rollers and paintbrushes. Decorating and painting jobs can be such a chore, but it doesn't have to be like this. Take a lead from the professional's book and spray the easy way. Introducing the Paint Sprayer Pro from JML, a revolution in home painting and maintenance. Its low-pressure, high-volume design means that the paint is applied quickly, evenly, and with a professional finish. Professional painters know that paint spraying is the method for even coverage, quick drying, and a finish that you will be proud of. Light, portable, and easy to clean, the Paint Sprayer Pro has all the features of a professional machine, but it's available today for use in your own home. It's reliable, solid, and robust, giving you many years of pleasure and service. For walls, furniture, decorative mouldings, stencils for that designer look, and so much more. But wait, the Paint Sprayer Pro doesn't just spray paint. Primers, varnishes, staining a table, even automotive paint. The possibilities are endless, and your Paint Sprayer Pro will become your best friend around the home. We all like to enjoy our garden, but give it the protection and facelift it deserves. This fence panel would take forever with a roller or pump spray applicator, but the Paint Sprayer Pro finishes the job in minutes. The finish is superb, and the panels are properly protected, adding years to their life, and your garden will be magnificent and welcoming. Decking is extremely popular and versatile. Get it sealed and treated, and it'll give you pleasure for years to come. Take this plain, boring piece of furniture, a bit of imagination and a paint sprayer pro, and it's given a whole new look, a welcome addition to any home. Simply build the pot, switch on the motor, and you're away. The single finger operation means there's no back-breaking work, mess, spills, or roller and brush marks. Quick and easy application for the very highest quality finish. Your friends will think using HVLP technology preferred by professionals. HVLP stands for high volume, low pressure. A high volume of air is fed through the lightweight sprayer at a low pressure, resulting in a soft spray of paint that gives you greater control and a great finish. The air jacket that surrounds the paint ensures overspray is minimized, so you can use it for many projects, both indoor and outdoor. At the same time, you're saving more than 30% of your paint compared to brushing or rolling, and more than 50% of your paint compared to traditional paint sprayers. Not only can you save money, but you can be environmentally friendly at the same time. HVLP technology ensures no clogs and no vibration. It's a quick to set up lightweight system with low overspray, which is easy to clean. Surface and job preparation. With any paint job, you should always ensure that you have prepared your surface to get the best finish. You must ensure all surfaces are free from dust, dirt, rust and grease. Lightly pressure wash decks or exterior surfaces and ensure they are dry before painting. With pre-coated or pre-painted surfaces, lightly rub down with sandpaper to ensure a good key for the paint and wipe clean with a wet rag to ensure the surface is free of dust. Remove any flakes of paint or rust from surfaces. Even though your spray station has very little overspray, it is recommended you mask off edges and other areas using a drop cloth to ensure you protect those areas you wish to remain un... Viscosity and thinning. You should always test the viscosity or thickness of paint before spraying to see if thinning is required. The correct viscosity is important to ensure the paint atomizes correctly and sprays evenly. Viscosity is measured in seconds. To test the viscosity of a material, dip the viscosity cup into the material and fill up to the top. Time how long it takes for the paint to empty the viscosity cup. Stop when the continuous flow ends from the bottom of the cup. If the time it takes to empty the cup exceeds the viscosity rating of your spray station, then you will need to thin. Pour the material into the container, leaving space to add some thinner or water. To thin, add the respective thinner or water and stir thoroughly. It is recommended that you start with a 10% dilution of the paint, which is the viscosity cup's worth. Keep repeating this step until the material is within the capabilities of your spray station. Each spray station has a viscosity rating. Spray station 1900 has a viscosity rating of 60 seconds. Spray station 3500 has a viscosity rating of 160 seconds. Technique. It is recommended that you spend some time practicing on cardboard or scrap wood 
to familiarize yourself with how the spray gun works and the paint flow rate being sprayed. When spraying, always keep your arm at the same distance from the surface as possible and avoid moving your wrist as this will give you an even paint distribution. You should spray a maximum of 8 to 10 inches from a surface. This will give you your maximum spray width. If you move in close to a surface, reduce the paint flow to avoid any bounce back. The most commonly used technique for painting a large surface is the crisscross technique. For example, you spray the paint in a horizontal strip and then cross over these strips by spraying the paint in vertical strips. Hints and Tips Always test spray onto cardboard to set up the gun as the flow rate will vary dependent on what you are spraying. Always start with the paint flow dial closed off and gradually open until you are happy with the volume of material spraying out of the gun. For example, a thin viscosity material will spray very quickly, so you need to have the paint flow dial turned down. If you are spraying a ceiling, angle the pickup tube to the rear of the container. If you are spraying a floor surface, angle the pickup tube to the front of the container. This will ensure you spray as much material from the container before refilling. Do not spray outside when humidity is above 60% or temperature is above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or below 45 degrees Fahrenheit as this may affect the coating drying times and quality of needle and tips. To ensure a professional finish it is important that you match your tip size to the paint type being used. The larger tip is ideal for a coarse finish and thick viscosity. The stain and latex tip which is supplied in your spray gun is ideal for medium viscosity materials. The small diameter tip is ideal for fine finish and thin viscosity materials. Troubleshooting Paint splatters. The viscosity is too thick. Action! Review the viscosity by referencing the thinning section in your instruction manual or review the how to thin part of this video light coverage of paint. Action! Increase paint flow rate or spray slower. Sags or runs. Action! Move spray gun faster or reduce paint flow dial and spray a lighter coat. Orange peel. Action! Reduce viscosity. Increase atomization with a smaller fluid tip. Spray area may be too cold. Spray gun may be too far from object. Too much overspray or fogging in the room. Paint flow too high and spraying too close to the surface. Action! Reduce paint flow and move further from the surface.